The nine Australians detained in Malaysia for stripping down to their swimwear at the Formula One Grand Prix have begun arriving home on home soil. In their first public comments since their release, they thanked their families for their support and urged other Australians to pay attention to cultural sensitivities when travelling overseas. Four of the so-called Budgie Nine walked stony-faced into a media conference at Sydney Airport, aided by a public relations consultant. It was a far more serious demeanour than the conduct which saw them locked up for four days in Malaysia. We're very glad to be home at this time. We'd like to take this opportunity to express our deep gratitude and thanks to the Australian consulate in Malaysia. An apology for stripping down into budgie smugglers emblazoned with the Malaysian flag saw the charges of creating a public nuisance dropped. A fellow passenger on their flight home remains unimpressed. It's not a good look for Australia. The group hopes others learn from their mistake. We would like to urge all Australians travelling overseas in the future to be very aware of the cultural uh, differences and sensitivities that exist in other nations. We'd like to take this opportunity to ask you to please be respectful of our family's privacies at this time. Thank you. They made a hasty exit from the media conference Would you like to apologize? and declined to answer any questions. One of them shielding his face as he was pursued by reporters. Not facing the cameras today was Jack Walker, a staffer for Cabinet Minister Christopher Pine. The Prime Minister was asked today whether or not he should be allowed to keep his job. Certainly uh, the young man involved needs to have a very hard look at himself and he'll be, I'm sure, I'm sure will be considering his future carefully. Awaiting the four men to make a speedy retreat from Sydney Airport. Other members of the group slipped quietly back into the country at Canberra, Melbourne and Brisbane airports. David Spicer, ABC News, Sydney.